to focus on how crazy the United States is. There is this issue, this continuing issue, in fact, around gun laws. So let's discuss it. So gun laws are back on the agenda. Now, they're back on the agenda again because uh, a couple of teachers and children were killed when a 14-year-old uh, got hold of a gun that was a present by his father at Christmas time. And of course, when one gets uh, an assault rifle, one wants to go out and test it uh, because one must know whether or not this gun is going to kill people, particularly if you're a psycho. And apparently, this 14-year-old kid was. And the most disappointing thing about that was also that the FBI had some indication that this child was a bit unhinged. And yet, the father decided buying him a gun was a good thing. Now, also, the father has been charged as well, which is rightfully so, so it should be. But this, this issue of gun control is one of those issues which <laughs> continually baffles me because if you know that something is killing people, then surely you make sure that people haven't got access to the very thing that kills people, particularly the thing that kills children. Now, in the United States, the children are taught while at school that if an alarm is raised in relation to someone being on the property with a gun, they have to hide in a cupboard, in a corner, under their desks, whatever. Um, and it is, it is kind of sad to think that children around the United States are taught to be fearful at school. Um, you know, it's not bad enough being fearful of teachers and bullies, but being fearful of someone coming into your school and killing you is horrific. Uh, and they're the only, as far as I'm, I know, they're the only Western country in the world which has this particular issue. And it's because the United States, the people in the United States are just crazy people. We just need to face the fact, look at Donald Trump, don't have to look any further to realise how crazy they are. But you can look as far as J.D. Vance, because Vance, in a comment recently in relation to this, said one of the most bizarre things I've ever heard, and also it, it is an acknowledgement that they're not prepared to ever do anything about gun control which will eliminate the death of children. So this community, generally speaking, not all of them, but the community generally are not interested in dispensing with guns, particularly assault rifles, and aren't prepared to secure the safety of children. Now, that I do not understand, but that is a fact, and we need to, need to face it, because here in Australia, we did away with guns back in 1996 when... Uh, when a bloke uh, shot up and killed 40-odd uh, people uh, in uh, Tasmania, and suddenly all the guns were gone. I'm still amazed today whenever I hear of a, uh, an assault by a gun. Normally it's uh, via some sort of gang or some sort of organised crime activity, but we have so few shootings here that, uh, that they're not as big a problem as it is in the United States. We do have stabbings, so people go from, knife, from guns to using knives or whatever they can to, to inflict as much harm as they can on people, but we certainly don't have assault rifles. Now, as a result of that, we've become a relatively safe community. We don't tend to uh, teach our kids to be fearful of going to school because they might be shot. That just doesn't happen in this country. But it does in the United States, and it's a problem because... The United States is the most violent country on this planet. And I think it's even more violent than Afghanistan. Please fact check me on that. But nevertheless, it is certainly the most violent westernised country in the world. And so what is there to be proud of? Not all that much. But J.D. Vance, he seems to have a solution to this problem. And uh, this, is, this is it. Now look... The Kamala Harris answer to this is to take law-abiding American citizens' guns away from them. That is what Kamala Harris wants to do. Good says, idea. Look, I, I don't like this. I don't like to admit this. I don't like that this is a fact of life. But if, you're, if you are a psycho, 
and you want to make headlines, you realize that our schools are soft targets. And we have got to bolster security at our schools so that a person who walks through the front door We, we've got to bolster security so that if a psycho wants to walk through the front door and kill a bunch of children, they're not able to. And again, as a parent, do I want my kid's school to have additional security? No, of course I don't. I don't want my kids to go to school in a place where they feel like you've got to have additional security, but that is increasingly the reality that we live in. So the reality is, though, that Vance and his cohorts are not prepared to confront the real issue, which is friggin' guns. Get rid of guns. I don't know why this is such a difficult issue for you dudes. So how can it be a problem to simply get rid of guns? I don't understand it. I know this has been a problem in the United States forever, it seems. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, increasing security, as Vance has suggested in your schools, is not going to make everybody feel safer in fact, it's going to make everybody feel more and more unsafe. Should it be appropriate that kids go to school each day wondering whether they're going to be killed? No, it isn't. Should they do something about it? Yes, they should. Will they ever? No, they won't. It'll just be a continual problem that the United States will suffer for the rest of whatever. And, they, and more and more children will be killed. And I can't understand how even that notion is okay. Surely there must be some politicians who are prepared to make a stand against the gun lobby and start to advocate for the removal of guns simply because it will save children's lives. It's, it's beyond me, absolutely beyond me. But uh, let me know what you think in the comment sections below. Um, ring the bell for further notifications and so on. Um, but in the meantime... I would suggest that you take care of yourself, look after yourself in the United States in particular, make sure that everybody is safe. Um, I don't know how you're going to do that, but I hope you find a way.